So meanwhile, like Trent and Rebecca uh, back on that subject are just kind of talking across each other because right, like Trent was going to focus on what Sebastian did later, you know, after Rebecca acknowledged that having him followed instead of just, you know, being more upfront and asking him to check in or even just going with him herself, like that that was uh, like he sees that as more of an invasion of privacy, you know. So that's what he was addressing first, and then she's just yammering on about Sebastian, and he's like, that's not what we're talking about. And so then he realized, you know, the fact that, oh, he's going to have to lay everybody off at his company now and breach his firm's contract with her firm because they no longer have a lawyer, so he can't take any kind of risks until he can retain a new one. I do actually have a new one in mind, uh, another crossover with Lucifer, um, but we're going to like have Lucifer get him that information. So he just kind of stormed out and is acting super duper impulsively, but you know, whatever. Also, she's a lawyer. She should know that when he says your allegations are unprovable, it means they're not admissible in court. Like, he was acting real strange isn't, like, it's not hard evidence. You know, you can't bring that into into a courtroom, which is a moot point anyway because Trent's not going to press charges because it's not that Trent is was protecting Sebastian, it's that Trent was protecting his company to a degree. So, yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot to put in that. Like, I did kind of make the focus about Trent's feelings about Sebastian and not... Trent protecting his company. Uh, so that's a little bit confusing, and I, I apologize in advance for that.